I'm not a bitch to f*** with. Get up! Get up! Get the hell! Tonight on the Bad Girls Club reunion, time has not healed all wounds. Get out of my face! Four long months have passed since the girls moved out. For the first time, all eight season two bad girls assembled in one place. This reunion is going to be mayhem. It's going to be like eight girls just yelling at each other. I started drinking this morning to prepare for it. Miss Lyric, I don't know what the hell your problem is. For you to be blogging and talking all this crap behind my back. The one person that has the stankest attitude is Tanisha, and I would definitely like to address that today. I'm here to get revenge. I'm not excited to see anybody. Episodes have aired, igniting new controversies. Whenever I see a new episode, I'm just like, what a bunch of <laughs> You can hate me, you can love me, but you're going to respect me at the end of the day. I want to set the record straight about me and Cordelia. I just don't want Genevieve to think that she played us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Word wars rage on the message boards. I have never seen so much hatred. I'm gonna hit you, Andrea. Genevieve is a dumb, raggedy ass bitch. It's all about Cordelia now. I've heard that Genevieve wants to come in and like fight me or whatever. Bring it on. I think it's gonna be like opening up Pandora's box. Cause I am Pandora. Just never know what you're gonna get. It's time to get the bad girls back and clear up some unfinished business. Stay tuned. I am so ready. My palms are sweating. I'm kind of excited. I'm back! <laughs>the show for those of you who are catching up with us the bad girls club brings seven self-proclaimed bad girls together in a house the cast who range in age from 21 to 26 recognize that their outrageous behavior while a lot of fun has hindered them from relationships careers and lives to a certain extent (laughs) and they claim they want to change okay now you five were the ones that made it all through a lot of people did not make it to the end so Mm -hmm. how does it feel Hannah to have actually made it through the initiation of the bad girls club I mean well I always said I was gonna make it either way regardless Mm -hmm. unless they kicked me off so Mm -hmm. it wasn't like and then you start you get used to like the craziness in the house so I wasn't really I wasn't like, oh, I'm leaving sometimes. So is it really like living in a sorority house for all practical purposes? No. You, like, pledge into a sorority that you like, okay? <laughs> uh, excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love them now, but, like, coming oh, first, it was, it was not sorority. <laughs> I want to show some clips because you all have not seen a lot of what's coming up here. One of your last night's outs. You guys got into a big altercation. The bad girls will be seeing this for the very first time since it happened. Oh, my God. Take a look. Tonight, it's just the original five bad girls, and I want us all to go out as a group and have fun together. It's, like, perfect. (laughs) These girls are bothering me. They're saying nasty things, and they're not going to get away with it. Basically, the whole night, we have been being harassed. And then I feel someone throw a drink, and that's when I flipped out. Darlene finally gets pulled off, and then we all get dragged away by security. I wasn't fighting. No, she wasn't fighting. No, she wasn't she fighting. Was fighting. She didn't touch nobody. Me. Why does she get to talk? She didn't touch nobody. Because I'm the black one. <laughs> feel so many stares on me and it's so humiliating. I feel like I'm watching a movie. This is not happening. This is not real. Like it's a nightmare. I just want somebody to wake me up. Oh, man. 
Oh, my Lord. I'm usually at fault, and I would admit it. But this time, I was not. Which is that right, that this one time? This yeah. one time, I was absolutely innocent. Anna, what happened with the th drink throwing and everything? Okay, I'm going to tell you what happened. The girl, she was a bitch. harassing us yeah, all mother us the night And it, I just, I was okay. like, you know what? I don't want this drink. I don't need it. I threw it on her. You never thought that maybe I don't want this. I don't need this drink. Maybe I'll put it on the table. You thought <laughs> throwing it was a much better option. You never really want to throw a drink on somebody. It's really, it's really girl, actually. I know at least four people I like to throw some <laughs> drinks on. <laughs> and then, darling, what in the world possessed you to fly over the couch? That's just Oh, and let me say, it was flying. Like, I was sitting behind her. We're talking Superman over the couch. You are the teeny tiny, baby. You could get the beat down. But the girl had thrown a drink, and then she threw a glass. I mean, I'm like, sorry, that's it. Okay, have you learned your lesson? No. Because your girl had to go to jail. I'm talking to the popo. Or do you still let your anger get the best of you? I just don't care. What? That's on well, your I record, do care, but I... I don't care. Like, I care, but I'm like, I'm, I just, it's like inevitable. Uh-huh. She's so proud. She done picked up a word and threw it out there for y'all. Look at it. No serious business, though. Baby, there was some big consequences. You had to go to a woman's holding cell. Yeah. I mean, this was really jail. Why don't you tell everybody what the experience was like? It was crazy. I mean, literally food on the floor. And everybody, it was no privacy. You had to use the bathroom right in front of everybody. So number one and number two, you got to go, boo front of everybody and I can honestly say that it's kind of calmed me down a little bit I think that God wanted me to go through that experience for some reason or another how long did you stay there I stayed for four to five days if I'm not mistaken <laughs> it was hell oh, yeah. it was hell I went through hell obviously this arrest caused some big breakdowns in the clicks take a look